So this is a test between three red microphones to compare the NTG8 to the NTG2 and the NT55. So the NTG2 and NTG8 are both shotgun microphones and the NT55 is a half inch pencil. The reason I've got the NT55 out here for this test is just to show the difference between shotgun microphones and just standard condenser microphones that we use in the studio. So all three microphones are condensers, they require phantom power. The NTG2 actually has a slot inside the barrel so it can be powered from a AA battery, but at the moment I'm just powering it from my interface. All three microphones are also cardioid, however the two shotgun mics are super cardioid, so they redirect 150 degrees to the rear, whereas I've just got the cardioid capsule on the NT55. So the NTG8 actually has the longest barrel out of all three of the microphones. It's also the most expensive. There's a big price difference between the NTG2 and the NTG8. Supposedly, however, this is going to make a big difference in how clearly I'm being picked up. I've also put just foam windshields over each of the microphones to give it some sort of a level playing field. And I'm about five meters away from the end of the barrel. So comparing between the three microphones now, the NTG2 should pick me up relatively clearly. The NT55, I'm not expecting to have much clarity in my voice. I'm expecting it to be a bit muffled and a bit quiet. But I'm really expecting a lot of clear and crisp noise from the NTG8. Hopefully that can pick me up really, really clearly for what it is. All three microphones are also set to the same gain level, so you can actually hear the difference between each microphone. So switching between each microphone, you can hear clearly there is a difference between each one. There'll be a significant difference between the NT55 and the two shotguns, but it'll be very interesting to see what the difference is between the two shotgun microphones.